Ana Cuevas, the leading scorer for all women throughout pool play, joined by Vega Jimeno, Nuria Martinez, the Olympian, and Sandra E. Geradide. Getting ready to take the court here. This again, women's leading scorer through all the pool play. Atiana Cuevas, she is a bucket and maybe the most skillful big in the women's tournament. Joined by again, Jimeno, Martinez, and E. Geradide. A little bit different squad than what you're normal, what you're used to seeing of Team Spain. They don't have Paula Palomares, who uh, injured her knee just uh, less than a week before the tournament, so. They have to make a change quick. And they put um, Martinez in her place. And Martinez has played pretty well. No doubt about that. But Spain getting it done regardless. As uh, they come into this thing undefeated. Unbeaten. Rolling right through the competition. Meantime for Hungary. I'm into the ladies number one score. Atiana Cuevas of Team Spain. The number two score. That would be number 22. For Hungary, their new addition, Saisha Gordy. She's number one in line. She's joined by Claudia Pop and Dora Negesi. And the former world number one, Alexandra Diodora. So Hungary come in 3-1. Their only loss in pool play was to China. Beat up on Latvia. Close win over the, the Netherlands. And uh, also a beat down on Turkmenistan. That put them in the spot. For Spain, again, 4-0. Uh, not really tested. Their average margin of victory was eight points per game through pool play. Close as anybody got was Mongolia, who were within five, but still a significant lead. There's Sandra Igueravide. She's all ready to go. Second on her team in scoring with 23 points. Dora Medyesi, hometown Debrecen. She comes in with eight points. She's more of a distributor. Most of that uh, scoring low has been on Saisha Gordy. She's got 31. The next closest on our team is Claudia Pop and, and Theodore with nine points. So 20, 22 point gap. You know where they bread is butter. 10 minutes on the game clock. You know how it goes down. Our, our last women's quarterfinal of the day. Still got one more men's quarterfinal to go after this. It'll be France and Serbia. A spot in the semis on the line. Who wants it? Hungary or Spain? Neither have won gold at the World Cup before. Hungary's come close, taking silver in 2017. Gordy battling underneath. You can tell she's pumped up. She's going to be in a battle with, with Cuevas. That's where you want to keep your eyes fixated on the big on big uh, matchup. Gordy again coming in with 31 big ones. Number two on the scoring charts through four pool play games. Michigan alum. American born to playing ball though over in Hungary. Martinez's pass is tipped, stolen. Medyesi down to Gordy. She steps back. And the gun is off safety. She's shooting. Ain't nobody safe. One nothing. Now Cuevas. He said, uh, I can get buckets too, miss. Let's see who can get the most. Ned Jesse setting up the two-woman game. Foul call on Cuevas. A couple of fouls on Spain. Look at the last bucket from Gordy. Nice stroke. Stepped into that J nice and casually. Hot. Oh, harassed by Martinez. He's able to draw the foul. Now Gordy going right behind the back. Swings it over to Pop. Pop. Missed it. Gordy. Call for the foul, reaching in, trying to get the rebound. Minute in, Spain with three fouls. 
Igueravide. The only way uh, Pop could stop her was to grab her. She hit her with the spin move. Igueravide gets around the D. Got a look. Too strong back rimmed it. Gordy gives it up to Theodorin. Cross baseline. Reverse. Saucy. 2 1. Nice finish. Pop with the crossover, but just missed on the pass to Gore. And a missed opportunity there for Hungry. Hungry did win gold, but at the Europe Cup three years ago. Spain never a gold at the World Cup or Europe Cup, but a silver in 2017 at the Europe Cup. They've been a perennial power in our national competitions for the women's division. Martinez trying to get to Atiana. Cuervo says bounce pass. Hungry got a hand on it though, so left him with five seconds to shoot. Jimeno uh, could knock it down. The Doran going against Martinez. The Doran down to Gore. Teamwork makes the dream work. Works well. Oh, Martinez tried to save it. Now Cuevas confiscates the rock from the Doran. Met Jesse. Hot hands. Gore saves it. The Doran shoots it. Off, off the mark, though. Out of bounds. Huh. So three team fouls apiece. Hungry with three points to match the three fouls. Spain with just a bucket to their name. As they look to remain undefeated and move into the semifinals. Claudia Pop with the move, but misses it. Jimeno to Igueravide. Igueravide shields off Gori. And some nice touch at the rim. Kisses it off the glass to make it a one point game. Medjesi steps back. Probably should have stepped forward. Left it way short. Winner of this game goes on to meet France in the semifinals. The other semifinal on the women's side is set as well. China and Australia advancing out of the quarterfinals. Jimeno, drop step. She hooked it, but she missed it. Hungry misses on a chance, two on their possession. So they they throw it away. You get a Vida, fakes the pass. Put up a pretty tough shot. The Doran to Gordy. Is that tipped out of her hands? Yep. Out of off on Espana with eight left on the shot clock and 6.55 left on the game clock. Look back at some of the tasties. That was a beautiful finish to Doran. Got a little luck on that too as it rattled around the rim, bounced off the glass and went in. Okay, speaking up about uh, this venue, again, right in front of the Rikes Museum. So much history in this, in uh, at Museum Square. So much history in this city. Who will make history in this city? 
here at this 2019 World Cup. We're definitely going to get a new winner, winner on the women's side as Italy has been eliminated. Can we say the same for the men's team? Or the men's squad. Serbia is still alive. They play next. Atiana missed it at the rim. The Doran passes up the two. Medjesi steps through, gets it to Gori. Gori can't stroke the J. Now Gori. Another miss. Medjesi fighting for the rebound. Off on red. It'll be Spain ball. Jimeno in. Igera Vide out. And a one point game. It's been touch and go. Not very explosive. Not a very explosive offensive game. Igera Vide. Cuevas. Drop step. Oh, she couldn't get the first bucket, but. She sticks with it, gets the second one to go. Three up, Met Jesse launches it. Swish, swish. Oh, Cuevas. Look at me now. Oh, look at me. Vicious spin. Jimeno tracks it, gets it back. Left by herself. Doesn't make the two. Cuevas. Foul on the pass out. Gori whistle for it. That's number foul, number five on Hungary. Another look at the six spin from Cuevas. You can see why she leads the ladies scoring charts. Met Jesse, big two hit right back as Cuevas shoots another. Going out of bounds off of Spain. Lock over to Hungary. Cuevas is out. And Martinez is in with Igueravide and Jimeno. Pop quicker than TMZ. She drops it off to Amber Theodorin. Gets the reverse and Hungry leading by two. Igueravide, she got one on the shot clock, fading. Missed it. Had to be out of bounds off of Jimeno. 5-16 remaining and a two-point lead. One possession game, but Hungry taking what the defense gives them. Seen them running that baseline well, a couple of uh, reverses. I feel like there's an opportunity for, for them to get those in this game, and they've had them. Gordy, uh, beat to fall off the glass, seven four. Gave us another devastating spin move. The pirouette had Majessi in the lost and found for a moment. Just look. That is just disrespectful. Look again, the uh, fadeaway. <laughs> Cuevas, she saved the spin move to the quarterfinals. She hasn't been using that throughout the tournament. Cuevas, another rebound and another score. But Spain still down by two. Met Jesse's pass off the mark. She's out. Pop is in. Now Jimeno waiting for Igueda Vide to come free. Igueda Vide misfires from the corner. Under five to play. Pretty much throughout, it's been a one or two point game. Been two pretty evenly matched teams. Gori, two behind the line and two between the eyes. 10-6 Hungary. We get a Vide down to Cuevas. She gets the score on the post. Back to a three-point game. Theodorin kicks it out to Pop. Pop. Good contest by Cuevas. Over to Jimeno. She up fake. Swings it. Igueda Vide. Run up. Get done up. Weddy. 
So both teams take a break. The action heating up. And a one point game. Hungry holding on to the slim edge for now. Five fouls to four fouls. Cuevas has been in her bag. The main tool in her arsenal is a spin move. Martinez, Iguerevide, Jimeno. Jimeno, she can get that two going right on time. When she shoot the cookie, she got good form. Gori, she's in form. The spin and the win is 11 apiece. Iguerevide, jabby, stays right. Right decision, bucket. The door and saved it to Gordy. She got five to work with. That's not the best spacing for Hungry. Got two players in the same spot. Gordy forced to just force it up. Now she's beat. She's out of gas. And Kimano cruises past her. Man, Jesse with the move on Kimano. The two pieces off target. Now Gordy. Might be vulnerable here because, yeah, she's out of gas. She's out of gas. She can't stay in front of from uh, anybody from Spain. The Doran, quicker than an 85 DeLorean. Straight to the rack she goes. And then a foul is called. So look at the shot from Jimeno from the left wing. And then Gory. Just left in, in the dust. Back to back plays. And Cuevas got past her. Didn't make it that time, though. Cuevas, good hands. And she knows what to do with the cookie. Put it in the cup. Oh! Offensive foul. Martinez. The two-time Olympian making a big play for Team Spain. Look back at the at the positioning. It's a great play. You don't see it, you don't see a, enough players stepping up and taking charges. Maybe, maybe because we play an outdoor game. The court's not that soft. <laughs> but uh, she sacrificed her body for her team in a key moment. As we are heading down the stretch with two minutes and five seconds left, Spain with a 15-12 lead. You got to do what you got to do, even if that means you get a couple bumps and bruises along the way. You get a Vide, stop, couldn't pop. Kimano couldn't save it. Ball over to Red. They got a little bit of a breather, so Gordy has recharged the battery a little bit. This, this game will take everything you've got physically and mentally. 3x3 is a completely different world. Pop. Gets to the cup. And it's a two-point game. Cuevas gets her cookies took from Pop. Can she knock it down? Yes, she can. Swish, swish. From the corner, 15 off. Cuevas missed the crib. That's a big miss there with a buck 30 to play. The crowd ooing and on here at Museum Plant. Pop, nowhere to go. Gets it to Gori. Gori pulls the trigger. Rattles off the front of the rim. Buck 18 and counting left. Hungry in the penalty already. Seven fouls. They got to play smart here. Cuevas, she spins. She gets free. She kicks it. Kimeno, open sesame. Access not granted. A minute and counting now. As Claudia Pop working the two-woman game with Gori. Gori dives down to the bucket. She seals off Martinez. Drop step, but she didn't get it up. Just ran out of time. So Team Spain, they need a timeout. They got to get a breather. 15 apiece. The lead has 
just changed hands all game long. It was Hungary in control at first, then Spain stormed back, took the lead by three. Hungary's then going on a 3-0 run to even things up at 15 apiece. 51 seconds left here in, in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Look at the venue. Look at the fans. Now look at the finish. We got 47 seconds to go. We got a V-Day. To the left, to the left, missed it, but Atiana. 16-15. Now Jesse, the Doran from the logo. Oh. Foul called underneath on Jimeno. So what? They bailed Hungry out. That would have been an air ball. Turnover. Shot clock violation. Instead, it's Gori going to the free throw line after the seventh foul on Hungary. I mean, on Spain, excuse me. Okay, fifth foul. My bad on that. My bad. Fifth foul on Spain, seventh on Hungary. It's 16 all. 20 seconds to play. Cuevas. Off of the travel. So a big turnover. 16 all with 18 seconds left. Winner go home. Semi-final spot. Who's gonna take it? 13. Down to 10 now. Gory muscled up on Igata Vida and gives Hungary the one-point advantage. Can they shock Spain? Oh no, they can't, not yet. Igata Vida with the clutch reverse. Her reverse sends Spain in the right direction. And that's a Tiso budget beater that sent us to overtime. So take another look at the Tiso buzzer beater that will send us to overtime. E get a V day. So clutch. Difficult shot. Gordy almost had an opportunity to block it. Instead, we go to OT for the first time today. Wow, 17 all. OT rules are as follows. First two, first team to score two points wins the game. So here we go, 17 apiece. Igata Vide takes what the D gives her. Game point for Spain. They better get out on Gori. Gori shoots the two from the corner. Doesn't hit it. Martinez with the rock. Spain don't need a two. All they need is one. They get it to Cuevas. Back to Igata Vide. Back to Cuevas. She blew the crib. Now Manjessi can win it. And she does it. Tiso buzzer beater in overtime. Mind boggling. Insane. Unbelievable. Hungry shot Spain. And will go into the semifinals after an unreal finish here in Amsterdam. Wow. What a game. Cuevas had it in her hands. Spain had the game. Iguera Vide and Cuevas in a two-on-one situation. 95% of the time that's going to work. Look at this. The miss point blank. The ball finds its way to Dora Medjesi. And she cans it. A Tiso buzzer beater that we will not soon forget. Spain's first loss here in Amsterdam comes at the only time they couldn't afford it. Winner go home. It's Spain going home and Hungary going on to the next round. Let's get it over to Annie, who's with Dora Medjesi right now. Dora, the OT hero, what was going through your head when you let off that shot? I don't know, I just want to win the game. We were fighting till the end, so 
that's the Hungarian harassment mentality. I'm really proud of my team and uh, really help uh, our staff, coaches, fans, everybody. So thank you so much. It was amazing to play here. And I have to say, every time that I watch you guys play, it's very unselfish basketball. There's always a lot of passing. Yeah, we try to choose a player like who like this team uh, offense and nobody's selfish. Uh, that's, I think that's the key for the win. When we are selfish, we never win the game. But next up, you'll have Team France, who's been undefeated in this tournament. How do you guys think you'll match up? We're going to do our best, I promise you. Well, we can't wait to see it, and good luck in the semis. Thank you, thank you so much. Dora the Explorer. She's found a win. Oh, wow. Now, that might have been the first time my vocal cords have been tested.